Oh, nice. Those are new shirts. Never wears a uniform. I like it. You guys want a frag box shirt? You can actually you can buy t-shirts, hoodies, hats, all that stuff right down below on YouTube. We use this thing called Spring, and you can actually get frag box merch. Um, yeah, there you go. Okay, Reading Fam, what's up? Governor March here from the 51st Coral Store of Canada. Hope you guys enjoyed the last video. We're goofy here. I'm not politically correct, and I don't give a flying flying blue jay. Blue Jay, that's what I was gonna say, because I don't swear anymore on the channel, and I do my best not to complain, because God has been very, very good to me. I have a very blessed life, but sometimes he likes to challenge us, and he says, hey, I'm gonna throw dino your way, some dino flagellates. Now, I wish I picked up the camera before, because this tank was suffering. What is this? What is this system? I say that word a lot on the channel. I say system, this new system, this new system, this new system. This new system just got shut down. Say goodbye to this system. Au revoir, system. Ray is fragging some bird's nest because he is part of the system. Nice, very nice. I actually really love selling corals that we grow here in the store. Just feels good, feels right. So this new system, not to get sidetracked, is our captive bred fish system. Okay, I'm gonna try not to say system, fuck. I'm not gonna say that asteroid anymore. Captive bred fish aquariums, but as well a home for our anemones. It gives us a place to kind of just let them do what they do, which is like jump off the rock and bounce around. It gives us a place as well for some soft coral. I think they look nice like our toadstool, some of our leathers, uh, green star polyp, like this guy right here. And for inverts and for things like this, kind of weird stuff like feather dusters, sometimes flame scallops, fighting conch, just kind of like uh, what we call it is the macrovert. So if you ever hear us in the store say macrovert, macro algaes as well, mixed with invertebrates, mixed with uh, clownfish. Okay, I think I gave a pretty good explanation. Now the water was so, so cloudy, crazy dino outbreak. I think it came from all this new sand. So a lot of times when you're setting up a new tank, dinos in the beginning, in the first four weeks, very, very common. The sand feeds the system, oh crap, I said it, feeds the water with silicates, with phosphates, and from that you get these kind of like bacterial brooms, and in this case, it was a big dino outbreak. Now, you're probably watching this video because you love us and you watch every video, but maybe you're dealing with some sort of dino and if you want just the quickest, easiest fix and solution that's quite good, just go out and find some of this. We do sell and carry it. It's Fauna Marin Dino X. I think it's a great product. We don't really carry fauna. Actually, we don't carry any fauna here in the store, but this one we do because this is a really, really great product that works. I have in the past used it. I have also killed a couple fish because I get a little bit confident with it and I don't follow the directions. So I always say on the channel, do as I say, don't do as I do. Now, how did we beat it? Because I didn't use that in this case. Now, again, I wish I picked up the camera because I can't tell you how bad it had gotten in this tank. Like it is looking super, super clear right now. It's more or less gone. What we tried was lights out. So we turned out the lights for three days on that tank, it didn't really do the trick. Um, usually it does. We've had dino outbreaks before, even in our main beds. If you ever walked into the store and you've seen that the, all the lights are off, it's probably we're having a little outbreak of something. Even hair algae can be really effective. Three days, um, I don't black it out. Like people will go and wrap the front of the tank with black garbage bags and stuff like that. I don't think it's necessary. I've never done it that way and it's usually worked. It's really, really effective. In this case, it didn't work which was uh, a little bit surprising. So then I turned to some bottled solutions and I went with a combination of Microbacter because it's a new system. Oh crap, I said system again. It's new water, it's new everything. This is a really great product too. Love this stuff. That didn't work. Then I tried, who put this here? Dr. Tims, if you're watching, can you please make a little bit of a change? Can you not have everything the same stupid, don't complain March, could you kindly change the photos on Waste Away and One and Only? See how close they are? Just a little, like, why does it have to be the same photo? Why can't this just be, use a maroon clone? Look, this is different. Anyways, okay, that's how ADHD works. Let's get back on this one, Waste Away. Another really good product, can really help with dinos, um, with clearing up bacterial blooms. Didn't work, hmm. So I started to get a little frustrated and let me show you what I did actually in the basement. This was a solution I used many years ago when I first opened the store, someone put me onto it. We have Jay fragging in the basement. Fragmaster Jay is always cutting something. Now, this is a really, really undersized 
UV sterilizer. For however, how, how many gallons I have here in the system, it really shouldn't have worked. But I had one lying around, so I said, let's just try it on this part of the S word. I'm trying not to say it anymore. It's, um, this is all connected. So right now we're standing underneath those tanks, those fish tanks I showed you upstairs. March is very handy plumbing. It comes down here. It's connected into sort of our macrovert holding systems, macrovert holding aquariums, and then through the sump. So, aqua UV, hang on the back, hang on the side, hang on whatever you want to call it. Very easy to install. Only, I think it's 18 watts. No, I lied. I think it's nine watts. It's only rated for about 70 gallons or 75 gallons of salt water. We have a lot more than that. This little thing cleared it up. Let me tell you, before I forget, I'm not down here too often, so I'm gonna use my favorite fishy food, Vitalis. Everybody in the store gets fed Vitalis. So if you're ever looking for a really good food, that's the one. That's the one we feed here in the shop. Look for this, it is the best. Nom 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 nom. Oh yes, I love raw food. This little thing, after one day, I can't tell you what a difference it made, and now after three, four days, it's more or less gone. I'm gonna leave it on uh, a little bit longer, so it's really easy to install. You just need a little piece of flexible hose and then a pump. And what it does, it filters water through the UV bulb that's in here. And then it's kind of like a hang on the back filter. You can see there, it just shoots water out and very easy to install because you just, boom, you just hang it. Wherever you want it, you could attach it to a sump. And if your water is already pretty clear and you're just looking, let's say you're not dealing with dinos or algae, you just want to take your water to the next level and get, you ever see a tank where it just looks like I guess it is glass, but I mean like just glass, like you literally cannot see. You cannot see the water. It just looks like the fish are floating almost as if they're in air, like they're coming out of the tank. A UV sterilizer. This is not too expensive. It's also not very cheap. They make bigger ones. It's a really good brand name. We do sell not too many of them, um, not too, too many of them, but it did help us. So I really like to do videos like this because I hope that maybe somebody out there is watching it they're frustrated, you know, I don't want you to quit the hobby. Maybe one of these videos one day I just sort of say something and, and it helps you, helps you get along. Or maybe you watch this video and then in the future you're dealing with something and you remember, oh yeah, March one time said that he used that thing to whatever. You know what I mean? So this one is the Aqua UV. I believe it's called the 2000 Plus Hanger Model. So they have a couple different ones. You can run them also in line. I just like how easy it is to install. And then when you're done with it, if you don't want to run it, pop it right off, it's not like built into your plumbing or anything. The turn pump, you want to get something that puts enough flow through it, but not a crazy amount because they're designed in a way you need contact time with the bulb. The way it works, this inside is this ultraviolet bulb and it basically fries and kills anything in there. It'll help also with ick, with diseases, um, with pathogens, with all that stuff. So you're killing the good and the bad, but it gets your water super clear. It, like I said, it worked for dinos, but you want a pump that you don't want it to go too fast, where that it's just pushing water through and it's not doing its job. You don't have any contact time. And then too slow, obviously, it's not gonna do anything either. So we just use the small Reef Casa pump, the one that comes with any uh, Reef Casa tank. I think it's 396 gallons per hour. If I got it right, 600 liters an hour. Uh, okay, no, so I'm off. 600 liters an hour, do the math, whatever that works out to be. This pump just happens to work really nicely with that and it's an inexpensive option with two little nozzles. So very easy to just grab a hose, cut it and then I even had a coffee yet. Where do I get this energy? I wonder sometimes. Total system volume, this is well over 100. I would say it's, I would estimate like 120-ish. So it's, like I said, a little underpowered, but it worked. They make some serious heavy duty ones. If you want like a 54 watt, 96 watt, they run into thousands of dollars for these units. I think this is the least expensive and my favorite one, just because ease of setup. Again, very useful for eliminating ick. If you're ever dealing with ick or you want to set up a quarantine tank, this will kill a lot of the free floating pathogens. A lot of those things like ick at some point in its life cycle comes back into the water. It's free floating and then it goes back into the sand. It kind of does this loop. This will nail it um, when it's in the, in the water cycle of its life. So I think that's about it for today's video. Again, I hope that you guys found it useful or helpful in some way. If you have any questions about this product, any product at all, maybe you want help picking a skimmer, some lights. We do ship all the hardware internationally. We've sent stuff this week to South Africa. We sent some Neptune stuff 
to Romania, to Thailand. So anywhere you're watching the video from, if we can help you in any way in keeping a saltwater tank, you can always reach us, fragsboxcorals at gmail.com. I just realized this is probably really annoying. I'm so sorry. I was talking. This is like Niagara Falls over here. Okay, see you guys on the next episode of Fragbox TV. Bye for now.